It's a fair statement that what Flanders Keller is doing probably can't be done anywhere else. Flanders is looking for coal in the Susquehanna River near Port Treverton. Right there. See that there? That's coal. When the mines up north were booming, coal lost in cleaning eventually wound up in the river. Once it did, it was only a matter of time till it washed downstream, right to where Flanders and other coal men were waiting. There was uh, oh, about a half million ton of coal a year taken out between Sunbury and Harrisburg. Now, here's something else you're not likely to see anywhere else. Flanders' partner, Elmer Newman, built it with parts from this and that. Their dredge is like a vacuum cleaner, inhaling riverbed and water. The machine takes what it wants and washes the rest back into the Susquehanna. What it keeps is piled on another barge. Flanders says he'd consider a hundred ton of coal a fair day's work. Flanders Keller has more one-of-a-kind things here than you'll find in a lot of places. Now, take his cleaning machine. <laughs> There's not much to tell you about it. It's mostly junk. But he's made that junk work. It works so well, we thought we'd spend some time looking at it. After all, how often is it you get to see something like this? What Flanders Keller does is becoming a lost profession. If it gets to the point where you only get 100 or 200 ton a year out, it don't pay to take care of the equipment on the river. So someday, Elmer may not captain the dredge anymore. And all this will be history. I'm Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road near Port Treverton.